For 26 years, Coney has been kidnapping children into his rebel group, the LRA. Turning the girls into sex slaves. And the boys into child soldiers. He makes them mutilate people's faces. And he forces them to kill their own parents. And this is not just a few children. It's been over 30,000 of them. And Jacob was one of those children. Uh, you go to school here. Yes. Yes, that's how you know English so well. I know. Yeah. How many nights have you stayed here? Hello. You are making our work very, very easy. You stop that now. The night I first met Jacob, he told me what he and other children in northern Uganda were living through. We were the rebel. When they raised us again, then they, they will kill us. My brother tried to escape. Then they killed using panga. They cut his neck. Did you see it? I saw. We fear that if we sleep at our home, we can be abducted by the rebels. Because our home is far away from town. They will catch us, then they take us there in the bush. So come here to save our life. What is it that you want to be in the world? For me, I wanted to be lawyer. No money. I don't have money to pay mm. my school fees so that I learn and then I be lawyer. Mm. After spending a few weeks with Jacob, he told me something I would never forget. So it is better when you kill us. In, if, if possible, you can kill us, you kill us. For us, we don't want now to stay. because You we don't are, want to stay on Earth. We are only to no one taking care of us. We are not going to school. So You would rather we, die than stay on Earth. Yes. Our, now, even now. Even now. How is, are we going to stay our, in our future? He told me more about his brother and what he would say to him if he were still alive. I love you, but now I miss you. So it is better when we meet. We are going, even if we are not going to meet, but we, are, we, we may meet in heaven, you see. So it is better. I will not talk much. I will start something. Because if I see my brother once again, I don't. Hmm? <laughs> In 2002, when the court was started, their job was to find and demand the arrest of the world's worst criminals. Although there are a lot of warlords, murderers, and dictators in the world, the perversity of Coney's crimes made him first on the court's list. In furtherance of the Congress's stated policy, I have authorized a small number of U.S. forces to deploy to Central Africa to provide assistance to regional forces that are working toward the removal of Joseph Kony from the battlefield. Sincerely, Barack Obama. In order for Kony to be arrested this year, the Ugandan military has to find him. In order to find him, they need the technology and training to track him in the vast jungle. That's where the American advisors come in. But in order for the American advisors to be there, the U.S. government has to deploy them. They've done that, but if the government doesn't believe the people care about arresting Kony, the mission will be canceled. In order for the people to care, they have to know. And they will only know if Kony's name is everywhere. Our goal is to change the conversation of our culture and get people to ask, who is Joseph Kony? We have printed hundreds of thousands of posters, stickers, yard signs, and flyers that are right now, today, being put up in major cities all over the world. 
We have thousands of Kony 2012 bracelets that we want everyone to wear, this year only. Each bracelet has a unique ID number. Input that number and you enter the mission to make Kony famous. You can geotag your posters and track your impact in real time. Everything you need is in a box called the Action Kit. It has two bracelets, one for you and one to give away. And if you want to help fund our life-saving programs, donate a few dollars a month through Try, and you can have the Action Kit for free. Start making Kony famous today, but all of these efforts will culminate on one day, April 20th, when we cover the night. This is the day when we will meet at sundown and blanket every street in every city till the sun comes up. We will be smart and we will be thorough. The rest of the world will go to bed Friday night and wake up to hundreds of thousands of posters demanding justice on every corner. I can't stop.